Allow me to introduce myself. Who knows what dastardly crime might perpetrate next? He's a very clever arch criminal who must be put away. Another innocent victim. I don't know. I don't mean Guys, I got a little bit of a treat for you guys, a little extra to go on with the Sony review I just released, and that is a battle between two headphones that maybe you guys might be deciding between and that I have and that I can give you guys some insight on. And that is the Sony H Ears and Beats Studio Wireless 2.0. I had to think about that a little bit. These two are probably gonna be up there with the Bose QC35s. Um, and I know a lot of you guys might be deciding between the two so let's get into a comparison and I will tell you guys which one I think wins based on my experiences so based on design I'm gonna give the winner of the design to the Sony and let me tell you why because of the bands now you see on the beats how they have this band and it's plastic it's one piece so if you were to like I've seen people snap these so many times and I'm surprised I haven't snapped these I've had these for about half a year and I use them for the gym every day and I have not snapped them but I can see how people snap them because they're just a piece of plastic that's all the only thing that's holding together is a piece of plastic the hinges uh, have actually held up I was assuming that they would get loose over a long time but they actually kept they actually kept their uh, snap and kept their uh, stability so that's nice but what Sony does is they have a metal band here, not only just the plastic, they have a metal band which can stretch. So if you sit on them, if you uh, accidentally sit on them, or I'm not saying go and sit on them, but if you accidentally sit on them, you're okay. Now, another thing with the design is Beats kind of keeps a low profile. They have this right here is all, the, all your controls, which I like. They have up down and then the middle is the the third button like you would have on the iPhone for three times to go backwards two times to go forward for calls you press it once with Sony what I like what they did was they have a dedicated button system where uh, they have a up down button for the uh, forward and back and then they have a press of the button for that and they have a whole separate volume control which is really nice so you don't get confused or you don't double tap something that you don't want to tap like maybe you double tap for a forward and you hit pause accidentally and that messes up your whole flow so that's something to think about um, and that's why I give the design preference to the Sony. Next up I want to talk about the connectivity the Bluetooth. Now what I found is that the Beats they have problems in public with interference and it's not just with other beats it's with other people coming around with phones headphones and things of that nature whereas the sony's never had a problem and that's due to the upgraded bluetooth and those the beats are a little dated and they're due for a new update soon so hopefully that will fix that but in the meantime the sony's have them beat at this point with both of these the cases are roughly the same Honestly, I give it a little bit to the Sony's as well because they're a little bit more sturdier It has a nice cloth feel to the outside while remaining hard the beats. It kind of feels like cheap plastic Real talk. It t it's like cheap plastic So they kind of cut costs on that, but both will protect your Investment which is most important now. Let's come to the sound now in my Sony review, I said these were okay and I still stick by that. These are just okay. The bass is the best part of these, but the vo vocal suffer and the high suffer, they're just okay. They're clear, they're there, but they're kind of in the background. It's like the bass is in your face and the vocals and syllabus, or syllabants is in the background. With the, with the beats, obviously everybody knows they do the bass the best they have really good bass but once you get up to a certain volume they start to distort what i've noticed so about like 80 percent of your phone they start to distort and the bass gets too much and it's like the headphones can't even handle it so that's a problem with these but with sound i actually would give it to the beats honestly the beats they're i think Thought because a lot of people talk trash on them that they wouldn't be able to keep up but these keep up really really well with a lot of the top 
uh, headphones, wireless headphones, and I'm really surprised by them. Don't knock it till you try these and you take a pair home before you knock them. So that round goes to the Beats. Now with noise canceling, I used these on my last trip to San Diego and these were horrendous for the plane. These blocked out nothing. Like it blocked out a little bit of the hiss from the, the engine, but that was it. I heard everything. I heard people around me. The noise cancel on these does not work that well. They, uh, these really rely on being pressed up against your head getting a tight tight seal like that but all in all i mean it's it's really weak that there's no active noise canceling in these if so it, they have a little bit of a hiss trying to block out a general amount of uh background static noise but it just distracts you from your music so the sony wins this round they block out voices like i said in the review and they block out a lot of the ambient noises or um sudden noises on planes they are amazing too so definitely check these out if noise canceling is number one on your list because these are no slouch they're up there with the bows and i think that in some cases they beat the bows which is amazing now what i will say is disappointing about the sony's is that the volume is very low and it it can bother i'm telling you guys so if you guys really like the blaster music these don't get that loud it left me wanting maybe one or two more bars on my iphone whereas these got almost too loud so that's if you really like loud music the beats are the way to go so all in all which one would i pick if i had to make a recommendation i would definitely go with the sony's they have their flaws they're not perfect but they do noise canceling really well they are comfortable and if you're gonna spend 350 on some I know the beats are lower in price now but I would go with the Sony's over the beats any day and I'm very proud of them Sony from BT all right so that's gonna do it for this comparison guys thank you guys for watching let me know what you guys chose and what your experiences are with these headphones I really want to get your guys' opinion, your guys' feedback. Maybe I missed some things. Or if you want to see some headphones reviewed, let me know down in the comments below. As always, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.